Hi guys, we're here today to take a look at the Optimus uh, Boston or Orange Boston, wherever you want to call it an Android device, a low cost device for Orange and Optimus let's start with the accessories this is the charger you can unplug this thing this is a standard USB port you connect the cable that comes with it standard USB and micro USB port for connecting to the phone and we have a microphone phones plus phones set we have the standard 3.5 millimeter microphone and the earbuds This is the Optimus version, as you can see down here. It costs you about 180 euros locked to the operator. You can unlock to in unlock it for I think about um, 50 euros. I'm not sure, but I think it is that value. So let's take a look uh, at the specs. We have a 3.2 inch capacitive display a 5 megapixel camera with no autofocus a 3.5 millimeter jack the 5 megapixel on the back of course with a LED a LED flash we have 256 megabyte, megabytes of RAM we have micro USD down in here as you can see this is the SIM card the battery it's a uh, 1,230 1, milliamperes more, what do we have more? we have 3G, we have Wi-Fi and a 6 megahertz processor now um, the processor speed goes down to 480 megahertz because when you, not because when you update to Android 2.1 I don't know why that is I just know that Optimus nor Orange are looking to get that upgrade so that's an issue if you want 600 megahertz you get you have to keep Android 1.6 if you want um, the full Android experience or at least almost everything because you, you we now have Android 2.2 Froyo and gingerbread coming but we have available Android 2.1 for this device um, now let's look at the buttons that we have on the left side we have the micro USB port for charging and data transfer with your PC on the lower part we don't have any buttons on the upper we have the 3.5 millimeter jack audio jack the on and off button right there on the right side we have the volume buttons up and down and the camera button halfway to focus all the way down to take a picture on the back we just have the 5 megapixel camera with the LED flash and a tiny speaker down in the, in the bottom and on the front the microphone the speaker with Boston written and four capacitive touch buttons start call, end call and the track wall so let's take a look inside of the phone I now have Android 2.1 on it. It runs pretty pretty smooth. I like it better than Android 1.6, even though it has it has lower speed pro, um, processor speed. As you can see, we have five screens. We can choose what screen what screen do you do you want to see? It's a bit like HD Sense, but not entire, not the full experience. You just have a, 
the preview down here and you can click on the one you want. Let's take a look at the dialer and you press for call you can end a call like this let's show you contact you can flick it flick as you would so let's take a look at some of the apps that come on the phone and some of the features now let me just start saying the call quality is not great there are people complaining about uh, echo issues um, I don't really notice them but there are quite quite a lot of people that that complain about this issue so moving on we have the 5 megapixel camera that is not that great I mean it it looks good but it's not great I mean an HTC desire it has a 5 megapixel camera I think it's look it, it looks a way better but hell this is a low-cost phone don't forget it so let's take a look at some apps the, uh, I, I forgot to mention this we have this is uh, an HTC sense like clock I think it's called let's see fancy widget that's right you can see it up there uh, but I think it's no longer available on the market so you have to if you want it you have to look for it in other places let's start by taking a look at the menu it has a nice boxy shape like menu I don't know if you can see that the icons go up you can flick up oops flick up flick down this the notification bar can be brought down to show notifications or system uh, definitions you have battery data data its date <laughs> um, and a lot of other informations as you can see so let's take a look at Angry Birds for instance the beta version of this didn't go as smoothly as in other phones because it was mainly developed for Nexus 1 but it does quite good in here so let's take a look it was laggy the beta version but this is quite good so you can pinch to zoom whoops you can pinch in and out so let's let's take a look at other apps <laughs> 